A child sex trafficking, it is a horrifying reality that even happens right here in Iowa. Capturing the criminals who do this and returning the children safely home is a job the U.S. Marshals took on in 2015. Local 5's Eva Anderson sat down with the Missing Child Investigations Coordinator for Iowa's Southern District on their latest big operation. It's called Operation Homecoming. The U.S. Marshals here in the Southern District of Iowa taking on 30 cases of missing Iowa children, many of them exploited for sex. This week, they went public with their success of locating or recovering more than 20 of these children. All but five are still waiting to come home. I sat down with Deputy U.S. Marshal Scott Cannon. Talk to me about Operation Homecoming. So Operation Homecoming is a culmination of that effort where we worked in conjunction with the Northern District of Iowa and other agencies to identify missing child cases throughout the state and we identified those that we felt were most at risk. Scott Cannon says it typically includes habitual runaways, children in homes with broken family situations or drugs, often children with no home to call their own, in custody of the state, prime victims for sex trafficking. Sex trafficking is not like the film Taken. At the heart of this, as always, it's about family. Sure. And unlike Hollywood often depicts, many of these children sadly don't have doting parents or guardians, making them more susceptible to trust criminals. They need groomed. They need, the, the child needs to develop a sense of trust. They have no means of making money or supporting themselves, so they, they're completely reliant on these people. Predators who work as a network to take children from our state. These children are being taken from central Iowa to other states and being trafficked. There's a coordinated effort happening between these criminals who prey on these child victims. Cannon remembers a particularly harrowing case. There was a child taken from central Iowa who ended up outside of Chicago, Illinois. There was body cam footage that we obtained that showed this child in the back seat of a vehicle with two males. She concealed her identity to police so that she wasn't able to be identified at the time. So we, we know that she was allowed to continue on to Illinois when we later recovered her in a motel actively being trafficked. Cannon says the girl had been abandoned by her mother. A lot of these kids come from broken homes. The majority of them are in Iowa DHS care. They don't have families, they don't have homes. Um, outside of Iowa DHS, they're homeless. So if it weren't for law enforcement, who would be searching for these children? No one, no one. It's common. A reality that weighs heavy on his heart, but one that also keeps him going. Why do you do what you do? It needs done and it's fulfilling. Um, I feel like I can make an impact and I really enjoy what I do. Heroic efforts by Cannon and the team of the Southern District of Iowa. They also worked closely with the Northern District of our state, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, and Iowa DHS. They say without them, none of this would have been possible. Eva Anderson, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. And they are still searching for five missing children. Two have now grown into young adults.